Okie dokie. Well, hi everybody, and cast time once again. And then, right off the bat, um, I forgot to talk about this yesterday, so I'll go ahead and say it now before I forget again. Like, before, before I even get the music going or anything like that, but, um, yesterday. Or, because yesterday I got it up. I went kind of over long on the cast. Uh, I was like maybe a third of the way into it, and I was already... I was already about 20 minutes in, so yeah, I had to kind of hurry through it, so, and because of that, I forgot a thing or two, so I'm going to go ahead and say that, I'm going to go ahead and say it now, before, before I get going on the cast proper, um, uh, yesterday, I think I might have found, I think I might have found out why, when I stream Cook, Serve, Delicious 3, why, um, why I don't get many people on, and, for the ones that I do, they don't stay on long. Um, I kind of noticed this. I think it was either yesterday or the day before. Um, that uh, the setup I was using, the OBS setup that I was using, was actually imported from Pinball. Like I just copied my whole Pinball setup and just transferred it over to uh, to Cook Serve Delicious. But in my oh so infinite wisdom, I. It's totally slipped my mind that I still had the, uh, I still had the mini soundboard that I that I had that again that carried over from when I streamed pinball. So, and then in this game here, you know, again, cook, serve, delicious three. Um, I, I use uh, I, I use hotkeys from time to time, you know, to to serve a cust a customer slot, for lack of a better word or be lack of a better phrase, excuse me, or to you know open up a fryer, or a, I think they call it a prep station. I think that's what they call it. So every time uh, I would hit a hotkey for that prep station slash customer slot, um, it would also trigger my soundboard. So, you know, I'd hit, I'd open a fryer and, and it would play, RETARD! What the fuck? You know, and then anybody, any viewers that are on would be like, what the hell is this? You know, and they'd probably end up up. Uh, I'd probably end up scaring them off. So, so what I ended up doing, um, um, I ended up uh, gutting out my whole uh, soundboard. Um, got rid of the soundboard, and uh, I had some, um, I had some visuals in there as well. I had like a, the the Futurama girl, uh, playing that pachinko machine. I had a. I had a picture of Charlie Brown going fuck. Um, I had that in there, but like I said, um, when when playing Cook Serve Delicious, I'm sitting here hitting these hotkeys, and I think all these visuals are popping up, and again, probably scaring away the viewers, you know, because they have no idea what the hell's going on. So, so, so once again, um, I got rid of the got rid of all the sound effects, got rid of all the visuals on this, and plus, uh. It's not that big a deal because I'm I'm often cursing and swearing anyway whenever I mess something up, so I don't actually need the soundboard or need the uh, visuals. So, but like I said, that's what I was talking. That I was meaning to say that yesterday, but again because I got in a hurry because I went over long, I had to kind of I totally had forgotten about it. Um. And uh, I might talk more about this later, but potentially so, uh, tomorrow morning, I might be uh, I might be doing another D and D Beyond video. Um, I think it's gonna focus more on just character creation. So there are some uh, there was there were some things I figured out after I did my uh, after I did uh, yesterday's D and D Beyond video. Some things I found and all that. So I'll probably uh address them uh, later on if I do the video but like I said I'll probably talk more about it later so but anyway here's the cast um, and for the music this is gonna be a uh, state Azure memory drift um, it's it's ambient but uh, it's kind of it's kind of borderline retro wave like borderline maybe a little bit of cyberpunk thrown in there as well um, synth wave I guess would be the more accurate term. So, but anyway, let me go ahead and um, rewind her back to start. And 
And about to all tab, so let's hope my uh, computer don't restart. Yay! So. Oh, and also, uh, before I continue, this is basically an unfinished cast. There were some more things I wanted to add. There was some more things I wanted to do on here, but as it's 11.36 p.m. right now, I'm a little bit on the late side for doing this cast, so if, I guess if, if things look a little off, uh, kind of hard to explain, but if it looks, if it looks weird or if, uh, if, if things look off kilter, at least to me, I'll let you know. But like I said, I, there, I had to leave off a few things because I needed to get this cast going. So, but anyway, let's get it started. So, to start with, um, basically it was a pretty bad, uh, pretty bad stream today. Um, one, my hands are, uh, my hands are hurting a little bit from, uh, playing, or just from the, uh, from playing this game. So, I was, um, uh, I was kind of skittish, for lack of a better word, and, um, uh, like really going all out or wanting to get too button crazy or anything like that. I had to slow down a bit. And then, um, and then kind of secondly, I, I had it in my head that, uh, I decided to go ahead and go back to some of the old, some of my old earlier, earlier areas that I completed with a silver medal and try to go for a gold medal. Didn't work out so hot. Um, I think I got maybe maybe like one or two gold medals but a whole shit ton of failures though just and a lot of these two they weren't um they were just they were just simple brain farts just simply hitting the, you know hitting you know throwing in the wrong ingredient and for those that don't know in this game here it's um if you are going for a gold medal it's very punishing one single mistake and you're you're out of the gold the best you can get is silver so i'm gonna i'm gonna take a drink of some arizona green tea here hold on uh but anyway yeah it just and then there was the fact that uh i um sleep wise i actually got some good sleep too bad uh, most of it was a dream and nightmare filled, which really kind of weird because a couple days ago, um, I said this on my cast, but I watched a movie called One Hour Photo with Robin Williams. I figured it's probably going to have the, probably going to have the uh, all you know all all morning long dreams and nightmares that would have been after watching this movie. I mean, which I did kind of have some, but. It was uh, right when I started laying down before, like actually sleeping. Just had all the, the the visual stuff and the scenes running through my head. But sometime after that, you know, I I basically slept fine. But now today, you know, I didn't I didn't watch any you know I didn't watch anything any anything psychological horror related. But yet now. This morning, you know, this morning was when all the dreams and nightmares happened, and none of them, and I don't recall any of them resembling the one-hour photo movie. So it's just one of those. What the hell? So, so when I, so when I woke up, I basically woke up half asleep. So I just actually tried, you know, trying to stream this game. So, but like I said. Well, like I said, it just, this is one of those times where basically I should have just either stayed in bed or just streamed Idle Champs. So, but yeah, like, but again, I did manage to get a gold medal or two, but for the most part, all, I shouldn't have bothered. I should have just continued in the uh, story mode progression in chill mode, where... You know, again, you have infinite time. I can, I can slow down even more. You know, I can slow down even more. Take my time. Do it right. 
because I'm not racing against the clock. The only thing I'm at, the only thing I have to do is be careful and not goop up. Because even though you're in chill mode, you're custom. You can still piss off customers by giving them the wrong order. But uh, I did, I I don't want to go into the game right now. I don't want to make the same mistake I did yesterday in taking too long demonstrating on the game itself. But uh, I did learn that when it comes to how much time you have to serve a customer, you have a lot more time than what it shows you. Hey, Bob. Now, if, if you don't have any food cooked for the customers that want this particular food item, yeah, you'll have to toss a number out there, 10 seconds. If you don't, if you're not at least cooking the food for, if you're not at least cooking the food for them, then yeah, you have about 10 seconds and then they get angry and leave. But if you've got that food cooking up, cooking up on the fryer, excuse me, you have at least twice that amount of time. I didn't know that. Like there's, and I, I kind of saw this when I was watching, uh, Felicia Day do her stream, and then watching Murda do her stream. Um, sometimes when it when it when it only looks like a, a customer, like you're out of time to serve a customer. Um, the meter it's showing like it's about to hit zero. All of a sudden, it comes right back, like the timer resets. But this time, the timer is actually colored yellow, which means now the timer's got to tick down a little bit faster. And, um, and if the timer again ticks down to zero, whoop, it resets again. But this time, it ticks down even faster, like basically twice as fast. And then, if the timer runs out then, then the customer gets angry and leaves. So, the big thing on that is if you can at least get the food cooking for them, they'll stick around longer. But again, I didn't know this at the time until... So, no, wait, wait. Okay, let me rewind back. I kind of... I'm chronologically off on this. When doing practice mode on one of the food items, I noticed one of the one of the options is when you're practicing making this food, you have an option to turn it from either chill, chill mode, or to standard mode. I set it to standard mode, and I kind of realized this. Just let it, let the timer run out, and this... I, that's exactly how I learned about this. Then, um... Uh, and then later on, later on when I watched these streams, that's kind of what they were doing. In fact, I don't have a fit, I don't have exact vivid exact vivid memories of this, but uh, uh, Murda, the kind of the goth chick that plays this game, she's uh, I think she was doing this because she's at the very last level in the entire game, or everything's pretty much a bitch at that point. I. I bet she was actually taking advantage of this. Like, you know, if she if she knew she had time for these particular customers, if she still had plenty of time, but there was like urgent need elsewhere, she would take care of that customer first and then go back to those. So it, it's almost like you're doing it's almost like you're you're doing triage in this game. You know, you can't if you know you can't serve all the customers at once. Go for the ones that are uh, most needed. So I think that's what she was doing, though. Like, I, again, just what I said here a few moments ago. You know, just because you see, you see the timer about to hit zero on a customer doesn't mean they're gonna leave immediately. If that food's cooking up, you still have it. You still have some time left. But again, I think that's what murder was taking advantage of. So that's probably why she got so damn far in this game. But. Sorry to sound like a broken record on this, but once again, um, if you're, there's two modes in this game, chill and standard. Um, but uh, these, but Felicia Day and Murda, they they consider chill mode to be beneath them. I think once in a while they get asked, why don't you do chill mode? Ah, no, I will not do chill mode. I am so better than that, or you know that kind of thing. But you know. But then they go into standard mode. It's, at least in my mind, it's basically gold medal or bust. Because once again, 
gold medal requires perfection. So if you mess up one little thing, you ain't getting the gold. But yet, they keep playing standard mode anyway. And yet they keep failing over and over. No, I'm not, I'm not putting that down, but it's just, it's not how I prefer to work. I only want to play standard mode if I'm, if I have reason to believe that I actually can get that gold medal. But see, I'm, I'm in my third city. So I, at least to me, I think I'm, I'm I, at the time I thought I was competent enough. I played enough of the game to be good at it enough to where I can go back to the old stuff, the early, the early tutorial type stuff and see if I can get a gold medal in them. Nope. I guess I ain't good enough. So I guess I'm not quite at that level yet. So, but like I said, with with me when it comes when it comes to this, it's it's either gold or bust. So if I don't think I have a snowball's chance in hell of getting a gold medal in a certain area, then I'm not gonna bother. So, but I'm gonna I'm gonna take another drink here. Um, and then speaking of that, or, let me, I'm basically, I'm off, I'm off the subject, kind of a brain fart. Anyway, um, in Gems of War, there's a, I believe it's a new PvP week, so, I don't know if either, um, I really don't know what I'm gonna do about, about that. Um, I might just go ahead and, uh, either, I'll do, go ahead and do a video, like a one hour video on me trying to get my PvP tier to, from 15 to 1. Or, um, I might just go ahead and um, just do it on my own time and not even make a video about it. Because I'm still wanting to do another D&D uh, &D Beyond video. And I don't, I'm really not going to have time to do both. So it's going to be one or the other. So I might, I might do the D&D &D Beyond video tomorrow and do Gems of War like uh, Wednesday morning or vice versa or but but I just it's it's on it's on the table so uh, but otherwise well, that's that on that and I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down a bit from my end And then, speaking of D&D &D Beyond, um, just, I think I, I think it started, um, I subscribed to a channel, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, like, yeah, that's, that's the actual name, Dungeons and Dragons, I, I subbed to that, and as YouTube is wont to do whenever you do something like that, one, they start putting, uh, Dun they start putting D&D videos in your YouTube recommendations and they start um they'll start um they'll start putting videos from other D&D related content or I should say other D&D related channels they'll start tossing those videos in there in your recommendations as well so so I think um I subbed to D&D um I, I don't I don't think the name was actually Critical Role, but it was a um, it was a channel that plays Critical Role content. Uh, but yeah, there were there were others as well. I can't remember what they were, but I just so a good chunk of my evening slash or a good chunk of my evening and night was just spent watching um uh, watching various videos of this. Um and uh and for those that don't know. For those that have watched my other cast videos, I'm pretty much going to be repeating myself here. But so this is I'm mainly addressing those that have never watched any of my other videos before. Um, Dungeons and Dragons, I loved it ever since I first first heard about it, first saw it back in like the early '80s. But I loved everything about it. Um, RPGs are my favorite video game genre. So if that tells you anything. But once again, I love everything about the uh, the D and D universe in the RPG genre. 
everything about it except the actual plane of it. I'm talking about the tabletop version, which is uh, a good chunk of the videos that I've been watching. Just, for lack of a better phrase, I'm trying to make myself like it. But even then, it, but like I said, it's, ever since, you know, ever since I first saw, saw it in action, again, during the tabletop, it just, oh, it's just really super cringy and awkward, you know, watching, um, watching these players trying to act, actually trying to role play, and, 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 no, no, it doesn't have, it doesn't have to be a Shakespearean performance or an Academy Award winning performance, but, I'm looking at someone's like, my God, uh, man, it, it's like, it's like watching porn without the sex. So it's just, but like I said, I'm, this isn't something, okay, how can, let me see if I can think of a better way of explaining this. But you know, I just, it kind of, I kind of came, I kind of realized this that when I, you know, when I started doing the D&D Beyond videos, started uh, creating, you know, started working on creating this character, um, I think there's gonna come a point where I'm gonna have to, again, for lack of a better phrase, take my character to the next level, meaning I'm gonna have to actually play this guy. You know, I'm gonna have to actually, you know, do... Do a table, you know, do the old tabletop thing. Now, am I looking forward to it? Am I, am I gonna try to make it happen? No. I mean, again, I'm not. Like I said, after watching, you know, watching people watch or watching tabletop stuff over the years, it's just, it's really hard to get into. So, but I was all. At the at that time too, I was also kind of reminded of one of my biggest inspirations in life, David Goggins. Um, he's ultra marathon runner, motivational speaker. Um, he did like a, I think he ran 70, 80 miles of an ultra marathon, or 70, 80 miles out of a, a 100 mile ultra marathon while weighing almost 300 pounds. But I think after it all, he was pretty well fucked up. But I just started. I didn't remember what it was. He said something about you should be stepping out of your comfort zone every day, which, well, well, back when I used to work full, full time at Walmart, I was, or basically every time I go to work, I'm pretty much stepping out of outside of my comfort zone because I'm at a point where I don't really want to do it anymore. So, but I remember um, one quote that stuck out after putting this cast together: "If you don't challenge yourself, you don't know yourself." So. But uh, he was a big inspiration of mine during my weight loss campaign some uh, few years, some odd years ago. I weighed some like 210 or two, 220 pounds. And uh, so I I got my weight down from, from that to around 140. But uh, like I said, he was a he was pretty big inspiration for me when I got my, uh, for those times when I ate too much junk food and the weight was starting to come back. You know, that that kind of thing. So it was at, at least at that time, it was great looking to him for inspiration. Um, these days I think there's I think there's more to it than that. And I'm not saying he's wrong, but it's just it's, it's just one part of the whole. I guess you can call it that. But anyway, um kinda go on I was, kind of going off subject but anyway just looking over some of the uh some of the quotes he had um i figured well i mean I, I guess the short answer on that suck it up buttercup but like i said i'm not actively looking forward to doing doing this kind of thing but i have a feeling that in the future i think it's going to come to that point and then there's something else i was thinking about that too times have changed you know, it's I mean, especially when um I guess I guess the show Stranger Things. It's like a super popular Netflix show. Um, it's like a eighties mashup eighties mashup. I guess uh there was like a scene in there where the kids are playing where these kids are playing D and D. But yeah, like it these days there's a lot more uh, mainstream acceptance of it. 
And then there's the fact that uh, a lot of these uh, videos that I've been watching, they're basically doing it in the comfort of their own home. It's like, you know, you don't have to, it wasn't like back in the 80s or, you know, before the internet. You know, you didn't have to drive all the way up to bumfuck Egypt at some library or some community center or whatever to play. So, I mean, live streaming exists now. So, yeah, like I said, a lot of these, you know, a lot of these players, they're just doing it, you know, just doing it in their apartment or house or whatever. So, and then there's also a, a few of these, uh, a few of these shows I've seen. I think, I think Critical Role was one of them. There's another name that's, it's on the tip of my tongue. I'm going to take a drink here real quick. Throat's getting parched. Um, there's... Like... Ox Adventure or something like that. Or Ox Venture, maybe. maybe. I think that was the name. Ox Venture. Um, but yeah, Critical Role. Ox Venture. They're actually doing this kind of thing in front of a live audience. And, you know, they're all... They're all cosplaying, too. They're all dressing up like their characters and all that. And you got... So, and you got people out in the audience cheering them on and stuff, you know. So, I think one of the episodes I saw, one of the one of the brighter points, um, I think it was uh, I think it was uh, I think it was Ox Venture. It was probably the probably the least cringy of all the other stuff I saw. It's like it 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 almost looked like improvisational theater while they're all sitting behind a table. So, like I said, if it, if they were still doing it, um, one, if they were still doing it today the way they did it in the 80s, yeah, I definitely wouldn't be into it. You know, traditional tabletop. And then there's the, um, and it's also, also kind of like what I said uh, a few minutes ago, too. It's got more mainstream acceptance. I think, um, back in the 80s, I think I was in junior high, and... It was there was these uh you know there were these junior high kids they're trying to play uh they're trying to play D and D during lunch like in the cafeteria they had the 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 DM, the dungeon master screen all set up and they're all sitting there you know doing their role play you know role playing their characters and acting it out and all that and at the same time too I don't have I don't have vivid precise memory of this but I'm pretty sure it went on you know you had. You had onlookers, or you had onlookers looking at them, you know, Chuck, you know, laughing at them, and, you know, you know, you know, maybe, a, maybe an occasional guy in the back, nerds, and all that other stuff, and basically making fun of them, and I think, um, uh, and yeah, I just, I just remember this, uh, I think, um, uh, I think he was my English teacher at one point. And for a short time, he also he was also running for city council. He'd go door to door, knock on people's doors, and he'd give people like, like a little pamphlet or, you know, Billy Bob Christian old man for city council or something like that, or maybe he's running for the mayor. I don't remember, but yeah, he was a he was my English teacher. He um he actually walked up. I don't remember the exact words, but I knew he was a Christian. He just basically walked up, told them that they had to pack it up. They had to pack it up. Um, I, something along the lines because because uh, D and D was devil worship or something like that. I, it just, I mean, back in the eighties, it, it was it was a big time. You know, the you know big old you know it was considered it was considered devil worship. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm I'm trying to formulate the words in my head, but it's not coming out. But yeah, it was. So yeah, you, if you see these kids playing, and oh my God, they're they're the devil's children or whatever. So, so yeah, this teacher went up, told them they had to shut it down for religious reasons. I don't remember the exact wording. I mean, I mean it's been it's been about forty years ago, so details are kind of hazy. So, but, but like I said, these days, um. 
it's more it's more accepted. But I'm pretty sure you still have your you know, you still have your you still have your jocks and stuff, you still have you know, you still have your detractors and D D they're all a bunch of fucking nerds, man, you know, that kind of thing. You know, I'm pretty sure these same people that are poo pooing D D are probably the same people that play World of Warcraft. <laughs> You're welcome. You know. But like I said, um, uh, tomorrow, it's it's 12:02 a.m. right now. So here in a here in a few hours, I don't know. It's either gonna be Gems of War or another D and D Beyond video. I don't know, or who knows? Maybe I won't be uh, maybe I won't be playing any of them at all. Any of them at all. So I might still. I might still do more D and D research, for lack of a better word. So, there was something else I was wanting to say too. I totally forgot. that important so but I messed that up I hope my computer don't crash okay there it goes okay but anyway um that's gonna do it for me um uh, at about 30 minutes so yeah went quite long on this one but I think I said all the things that I wanted to say today I hope I didn't forget anything but otherwise, once again, that'll do her. Um, but thanks for, thanks for uh, tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that. And um, I should be able to do another one of these tomorrow. So, so until then, thanks again for dropping by, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.